Hi, in this lesson we will learn how to make use of new transition code in S4 HANA that is AC16H to join multiple tables and display data. So here the scenario or which I am creating this demo is for example we have this business partner data okay like name, first name, last name, mobile no telephone number and email address. So as we know all those details get stored in different table like the main table for business partner is BUT triple zero and the address data that is telephone number and email address we call those data as the address data okay for telephone number we have to refer ADR2 table for email address ADR6 table so for example in one single join condition if you want to fetch all this detail so this will learn how to get this using AC16 Edge. So before making the query in the AC16 Edge, just have a look at the table data. So this is my business partner ID here. So here in the BUT000 table, here we can see my partner ID. Okay, and I will select limited output columns, like I will select only first name, last name in the output. Okay, this is the first table which I want to use as a master table. And for the address data, we require like address number. And address number we can get in the BUT020 table. Here we have to pass this partner ID. And based on this, we have to copy this address number field. Okay, now based on this address number field, we can select the telephone number and the email address from the ADR2 and ADR6 table. So here is the ADR2 table. Once we pass the address number here from this field, telephone number, we can copy, we can select the telephone number and same for ADR6. Pass the address number and select the email address. So we learn how to select all this data by making a single query in SC16H transition code. So here go to SC16H. And here I will enter the base table BUT000 business partner ID. I will select here 14. I will select a range. I have only two records. Okay. Now if I check the records here, I have two records here. Okay. Now what I will do, I will not select all the columns in the output. So we have to deselect all, deselect, and I want this partner ID in the output. Along with this, I want to select first name and the last name field. So here I have a first name and the last name field. Based on your requirement, you can select the required columns. Okay. So from the BUT triple zero, I am selecting three columns. The next join condition I want to make on BUT zero to zero. So how to make join condition? Here, outer join definition, click on this icon, give the name for the outer join condition, take example, ZBP, details we can give any name here, okay, business partner address details, okay, ZBP details I am selecting here, and here we have to click on print icon, now here, we need to enter secondary table. I will enter here as BUT 0 to 0. Click on this output and select the columns which we require in the output. So from here, I am going to select, again select partner which is not required and the address number, the important field. Okay. So continue and apply in this. Now, suppose if you want to make a join condition, inner join means if the records are there in BUT 0 to 0 and BUT triple 0, then only show the record, then select inner join. If your default requirement, like outer join, suppose even if you don't have record in the BUT 0 to 0, in that case, you want to display only BUT triple 0 data, then don't select the checkbox. Okay. For this scenario, I am creating as inner join. 
Now double click here. We can see table name is here. And to make a join condition, click on this create icon. A table field on which field we want to make a join. So in the view to triple zero, I want to make a join on partner number. And how the join will work? Reference. If you want to apply some constant value, you can select constant. But here I'm going with the reference field. Now the join condition. From which table you want to make the join? So I want to make a join on from view to triple zero on field partner. Okay. Apply execute. First we'll check only two table. Do you want to save? Yes. ZBP details. Okay. So now again, okay, here I have my BP number. So from join table, here we have to select our newly created details, ZPP details. Okay. So if I execute, see here, along with this partner number, first name, last name, we can see the address details. Okay. Now let's add the other two tables, LDR2 and LDR6. Click on this maintenance of relationship. We are already here. Now, first display. We have beauty triple zero here. Click on change. Now, next, I want to add ADR2. And here we can give the sequence, let's say one and two. Next, join I want on ADR2 table. And from ADR2, I want to select telephone number. Okay, and next I will select my third table ADR6 and from ADR6 I want to fetch email address that is field SMTP underscore ADDR. Okay, now we have to make the join condition. Here I am not selecting as inner join. To make the join condition double click here ADR2. We can see selected secondary table is ADR2. Now create the join condition. Now in ADR2, my join condition is on the field address number. And the reference here. Now this time we have to select BUT 0 to 0. Because address number field I have in we have in BUT 0 to 0. Select the address number. Okay, and now double click here on ADR6, apply the same address number, reference PUT 0 to 0, here also same condition that is join on the address number. Okay, so like this we have created our join condition ADR2 and ADR6. Execute. Do you want to save? Yes. Okay. Now if I execute, see here. First three columns are from BUT triple zero, partner ID, first name, last name. Second two columns are from BUT zero to zero. Okay, address number and then telephone number and the email address. Like this, we can add n number of tables based on our business requirement. Here I given the scenario of like business partner data. In the same way, you can create different conditions on different business process like sales order. Take example, you in one go, you want to select sales order header data as a line item as the schedule line. Same for the purchase order scenario or the finance data, BKPF, BSID, BSAD, etc. The same concept we have to follow for joining other multiple tables. Okay. Now suppose we have created this auto join condition. Okay. Now later on, suppose if you come out from this screen and if you go again inside same. Okay. So simply we have to select the auto join definition. Means every time we don't have to create that. Execute.
sorry, here I have selected all the outputs. So this I have to change first. Deselect. For example, this time I am selecting only business partner number. And if I execute now, see. On the first table, I have only one and remaining based on the join condition. This means that this is only one time activity. Once you create your auto join definition, then next time we can we only need to select from this drop down and execute the record. Okay, so in this way, we're done with the session on how to make use of new transition code SE16H to join multiple tables. Thank you.